This video covers status options, how to group them and define them. Think of status options as the specific steps you take to get a new lead to be a paid up and renewed client. The great thing is, is that this is completely customizable to the way that you do business, but I've given examples that are typically utilized. Here's a view of the status options that are the defaults when you sign up for your Radius account. And here's a view of the customized list that I created. It's more specific to my business needs. The groupings are here in gray, and then the status dispositions are under them in a specific order. In this step, we'll be setting the sort order, the group order, and also deciding if we want to see these statuses in the count groups above. The reason this step is so important is that status options have the ability to trigger automated workflows and other marketing, so they're an easy way to have you and your agents do a simple update on a client or a lead that will have great impacts on outreach with minimal work on the agent's part. And you can quickly filter or pull reports by status as well. Go to Settings. Status Option Groups. You'll see status options in settings, but first you want status option groups. We only have a default group pre-populated into your account. Personally, I like to split things out by leads, clients, and archive. Some people have prospects, leads, clients, archive, and personal contacts. You can add whatever you'd like here. Let's edit this default group to leads. I want it to be highest in my list, so I'll keep it number one in the sort order. Yes, show in the count. The count sort order will make more sense when we see our work, but basically it's a way for you to see how many leads you have in that grouping, or if we were in a status, it would show us how many leads in that specific status we have. We'll see that later. Update. Let's go back and add clients. Sort order two. Hit Create. Add Archive. Sort Order 3. Create. Now that you have your grouping set, let's go to Settings, Status Options. You can see here that we've given you some default status options. Please note that whatever the lowest numbered status option is will be the default for leads that are pushed in from lead vendors or website forms. If you're going to customize your status option groups, I recommend making new lead a status of zero so that you don't accidentally put the sort order of one in several groups, which might mess that up. I'm going to edit left voicemail to second call needed. That feels more informative to the way that I call people. It will still be in the lead grouping, sort order one, and I do want this counted in groupings, update. Now let's put some things in the archive. Non-responsive lead, Sort order one. I do not want to add this to the count sort order in leads nor in clients. Okay, let's see what we've done. You can see here in the upper part of the lead page that the count groupings are reflecting how many leads or clients we have in the statuses we said we wanted to see in the groupings. If I click on that number, it filters that grouping for me. So now I see all my new leads. Let's reset that filter so we can see everyone now. I'm going to change this person's status so that we can see how the count groupings change. Okay. Now let's look at that lovely list we've created of all of our status options. 
click on Lead Status. We have our lead group here in gray, then the list of its statuses in the order that we selected. Then we have Clients Grouping and Archive. I now have a very clean list of how my team and I will work our leads and get them to be ongoing clients.